Hello, thanks for joining me again. It's a wet and miserable Monday morning. We're on a big outside locally, pouring down with rain, so I thought I might reduce my time and put another video together. I'd like to pass on a little tip today that's probably saved me thousands of pounds in the past but when I first started my decorating business it probably cost me thousands of pounds because I didn't include my overheads in my day rate so if I was working for 120 pound a day that's what I that's what I take home and any business expenses I had would come out of that 120 pound so you know it was costing me a small fortune that wasn't until I then Really, I think I read a book, I can't even remember what the book was, but I read a book and it said to incorporate your overheads into your day rate. So you've still got your day rate, but then you've got a separate little sum that you use for your overheads. So since I've been doing that, it's worked out really well. I've got a little bit in the bank now to, for my business expenses and I can still take my money from my day rate. So I'm still at my day rate and I've still got some money in a bank in a separate account that business expenses now comes out of and it doesn't come out of my sort of daily earnings so to speak anyway to explain this a little bit better because I'm sort of rambling a little bit now um, let me show you on a good old spreadsheet okay so here's a spreadsheet hopefully this will make things a lot easier to understand first thing we need to do is decide how much money you want to earn a year so I mean this is just a random not a random figure but it's sort of like what you should really be expecting to sort of earn if you run a business and you're self-employed is you know i think that's a reasonable amount the second thing is you need to decide how many weeks during the year you want to work we all want a bit of holiday so i'm allowed for four weeks so then what you do is divide the 40 whatever you want to earn whatever you want to earn by the amount of weeks you're working so it comes out to that so this is what you need to be earning a week then this then becomes your new day your due day rate to earn that over those many weeks you need to be charging that a day so basically round up to 170 you need to be on 170 pound a day to do to earn 40 grand over 48 weeks so that's the first part then moving on this is where the expenses come in so let's have a look at those so these are a few of my rough expenses i allow for an accountant i also get some leads i pay for leads my builder my builder get a, get a painter so I, i've got an allowance there to buy some leads over the year in case things are a bit quiet. This has now changed. Memberships such as Checker Trade, I belong to Dulux Select, so that's in there. This will be low now because I've come out of Checker Trade because it's turned into an absolute nightmare. So I'm no longer paying £900 a year for that or a part of. Also, your van needs maintenance, it needs a service each year, so I've laid, allowed that sort of figure for mine. Also, what I do. If your van's not going to last forever so i also allow this is over a three-year period so hopefully i'd have saved nine grand in three years to buy a new van when my other vans had enough and uh, also st um, office stationery letterheads business cards that sort of thing you know printer ink all those things that you need to take into account now this is just my you know basic list of overheads stuff that i sort of need to maintain my business yours might be slightly different get a yearly cost for that and the way i do it, i just break it down to a monthly cost, how much it cost me a week, and then how much all these things will cost me on a daily basis. So then now we've got what we want to earn a day, what we what our overheads are, are per day. The last thing to do is actually add in how much this is actually going to cost overall. There we go. Over a year with your overheads, you're looking at forty-seven thousand. So in a month, you need to earn that three thousand seven hundred, and to get that, you need to run nine hundred eighty pound a week. And you need to charge when you go and quote your jobs you don't need to be charging this figure which is what i did for years so i'd go in and on my day right my day rate would be it wouldn't be that but it would have been about i don't know 120 pound i'd be forgetting all this in the middle and uh be pricing off of this price so all this would be coming out of this this figure here whereas now when i price i'm allowing for this figure here i'm still getting this figure but i'm not paying all this out of that figure I'm paying that out of this figure, the bigger figure. So it just allows for, I mean, this is sort of basic business sense, but like I say, I made the mistake for years. Who's to say you guys aren't doing the same thing? It's just things you don't think about. You know, you want to go, you're good at decorating, so you want to go and decorate. You want to make a nice job. You want to keep people happy. But 
also you've got to keep an eye on the business side otherwise you know there's quite a big variance there per day you know you're looking at 30 pound like i say yours might not be that yours might be slightly different mine you know mine i've adjusted this i need to adjust this one in the middle for, like i say for che uh, for checker trade but you're still not trying to find an extra 30 pound out of your you know if you take 30 pound of this you're down to 130 a day it's a big difference over a week you know a month six months it all adds up it's worth taking into account it may be a bit of a nightmare you may already know this stuff i may have just been particularly stupid and not realized for years and years i hope but that helped like i say i struggled for years without doing that way without adding the uh, the bit on the overhead bit in the middle so if it saved you a few pounds i hope it has uh, if you already know it good i'm a little bit behind you but i've caught up now so uh, if it's been helpful help helpful it's helpful if this has been helpful please subscribe click the bell icon and uh, yeah you'll be informed when we do another video like this or maybe slightly different who knows um till next time take care and i shall speak to you lot soon